All right, so I'd like to show you a mod for uh, colorizing based on a calculated field. So you know, normally our, our status filters here, these colors, are based on a field in your database uh, that we call status, but you can call it whatever you want. And when you change the value of the status, the color changes. But a lot of people would want to make this a calculated value and not something users can change. And that works great, but there are a few things you have to do in Dayback in order to accomplish that. There are three things in particular you have to change, so I want to show you what those are. So to start off, let's pretend that what we want to do is have our uh, status field be some kind of calculation. So I'm just going to switch this to a calc uh, really quickly. And I'm going to say if the uh, date start, so the date of that, is less than, um, let's see, the uh, get current date then let's make the color orange. And you would change these, obviously, but I'm just going to switch this. Let's call that paused errors. And otherwise, if it's after today, let's make it green and just call it ready. So the idea is we have a calculation here, and it's unstored because it uses the current date. Now let's switch this to text. And storage options do not. So there's our calc. So that's part one. So now we have this based on a calc. But the problem is, is that um, it's not going to work because if we drag things over here, we get this problem because we just tried to set data into that field. So the first thing we have to do is change our set field scripts so that we don't set data in there. The script used is called create uh, edit delete event. And we'll just come over down here and you can see we kind of go through a bunch of stuff. And then we'll have these individual set fields for the different uh, types. And we'll just have the, the status and let's just block this whole thing out so that we will never set um, the status because the status is not um, a user enterable field, it's a calculated field. So now we can move things around and that setting doesn't happen. So that's part two, which is good. But then when we look over here, we still have it right here, status. Oh, I see why the colors aren't showing up. It's saying paused, error, I need to change it to errors. So let's do that first so we get our colors right. Go into sample events and status, and it's going to be called paused errors if the date starts less than the current date, otherwise ready, R E A D Y. We should get at least some colors in here. All right, great. And then if we go to a month, or if we scroll down the month, eventually we'll see the green ones. Okay, so that, that's great. So now we just want to make sure that users can't uh, change this here, and that's actually really easy also. So if we go into scripts and load source settings, because this is something you specify per source, we can say, hey, would you like to hide any of the popover items? And in this case, I want to hide, you can see the list that we can hide here. And I want to hide one called, whoop, I hate that you have to click over here to be able to use the return. And I want to hide the one called status. Okay, so we add that. And then whenever you change any of these settings scripts, uh, I just saved the script, you want to rerun the upon opening script. So let's rerun upon opening. And now what will happen if we look over here is that we don't have a status field to change, but we still have it up here. So pretty cool. We've based all this on a calculated field. We can't get to it anymore. We can move things over here like this. And uh, no big deal. And of course, if we go into the future, we'll see they're green. So um, that's how you base this on a calculated field. And uh, I hope that helps. Thanks.